Hello and welcome to the first introductory episode of the Extreme Sports Performance Podcast. My name is Ryan Blake, I'm the founder and CEO of Extreme Sports Performance. In this first episode, I'd like to take the opportunity to tell you more about myself and the company. What is Extreme Sports Performance? Well, we're a sports science consultancy offering mobile, in-person and online support to all people nationwide. When was it started? It was founded by myself in 2008 and it's based in the UK. After spending all my life playing, competing and coaching school, county, national and international sport, I followed a continuing education, pathway and profession in top-end performance, health and wellness. Why was it started? Well, I believe that there are many talented and aspiring athletes of all ages in all sports that don't have the appropriate guidance or receive the appropriate advice to help them move forward and excel, but also understand why and how they can get better. Simple to advance sport and exercise science in combination with appropriate medical support makes the difference that people need to help them succeed and improve their performance in sport. Who's it for? Well, our methods and approaches don't just apply to athletes. We also specialise in working closely with general and special populations to help and guide them to a better, healthier and more comfortable life. So what do we offer? Well, we specialise in five main services, which are management, performance, development, therapy and health. I'm going to talk about each of these services individually and the subcategories that fall under each of these headings. So management, this is split into two subcategories, um, the first of which is elite sports science team and academy support, and this consists of the following, leading, planning and delivering the provision of annual individualised strength and conditioning programmes for each member of professional and academy squads, creating seasonal integrated science and medical team systems and processes, enhancing physical performance, reducing injury risk, and aiding in the rehabilitation of players who have sustained injury or had surgical procedures, creating independent performance testing protocols in keeping with the physical benchmarks for specific sports, providing full or part-time support for testing, training and game days, customising athlete monitoring, review and feedback systems. The second part of our management service is corporate lifestyle and workplace consultancy and this consists of the following. Personal lifestyle, so health and wellness, taking care of your body on a daily basis is essential for long term health, feeling fresh and energetic and free from illness more often. This can be done through goal setting and daily, weekly and monthly lifestyle planning. Movement. So how well you move determines how much stress the body has to carry. So moving more efficiently um, and effectively lets the body tolerate less load. And this can be done through movement screening and physical competency assessments. Physiology. Everyone's different, but everyone can become better. So becoming fitter and stronger can quickly and simply improve your physiology. This can be done through fitness testing can anthropometric profiling, exercise and sport monitoring. Nutrition, you are what you eat. Energy levels, weight management, mood and even immunity are all affected by diet. So choosing healthier options and making better choices and learning new simple cooking methods can all help. This can be done through nutritional assessment and individualising diet plans. Psychology. You know, the mind controls the body. Um, life and work can easily interfere with this in positive and negative ways. Developing your emotions, senses, systems and processes to live in a happier way can all improve this. Um, this can be done through prioritisation wheels, um, individualised mindfulness support. Recovery. The body is a complex working system that needs time to rest and reset. And very often people don't dedicate enough time to this process, which can have negative consequences and, and all the above. Um, working out what, how much and when you need to, to suit your individual schedule. Um, this can be done through sleep monitoring, um, heart rate variability assessment. 
So we also have programs which enable a more healthy and productive workforce, which consists of customizing online training programs, customized online nutrition plans, and customized online health maps. We also specialize in team building for business, which is one area we really love working in. Um, this consists of elite elite methods, systems, and tactics from a combination of leading sports authorities that we've uh, you know we've worked with um, to develop interaction, bonding, bonding, and communication skills, which ultimately will enhance work environments and improve productivity. Okay, so our second service I'm going to talk about is performance. Um, this has several subheadings. Um, the first one is professional strength and conditioning. So this consists of training programs combined with coaching that will develop physical attributes, enhance movement mechanics, uh, reduce likelihood of injury and, and improve all other aspects of, of sports performance. Olympic weightlifting technique, um, so expert guidance to improve the three main Olympic weightlifting um, exercises. So snatch, clean and jerk and derivatives of these um, and technical aspects of each of these and also increasing individual and total loads for people who compete at that higher level. Powerlifting development, so again expert guidance to improve the three main power lifts, squat, bench press, deadlift, um, the derivatives of these um, and also increasing individual and total loads for people who, who compete at, at a higher level. Sport specific enhancement, we've worked with so many different sports and that's what really excites us about having that variability to coach. Um, so we, we specialize in writing generic, um, also very individualized programs for any sport, um, particularly specializing in extreme sports, which is part of the reason why our, our company was founded in the first place. Movement screening, physical competency assessment and physical testing. So these help with several different things, um, tools to identify weaknesses and asymmetries of mobility and flexibility, um, assessment processes that categorize quality and control of specific movement patterns, um, data collection of individual combined physical qualities that include work capacity, strength, speed, power and endurance. So it's really important to test any aspect first, put a plan in place to try and improve it and then retest it to see how much it has improved, if it has at all. Kinanthropometric profiling, so advanced scientific measurement of body composition that can accurately, accurately categorize specific somatotypes and also identify physique related factors directly applied to sports performance. And lastly, mobile gym and coaching. So we can bring gym, our gym, our mobile gym and, and specific bits of equipment to various locations around the country and set up um, whatever that particular client or individual may need um, to help support them. So our third service is development. Um, quite a broad term, but it, it can really apply to quite a, a wide range of areas. So this is split into two, two subcategories. So the first of which is young athlete fundamentals. We've spent many, many years and we, and we still, we still to this day are working with, um, very young athletes through up to, you know, teenager to, to young adult, um, in, in various different sports. And, um, you know, we, we like to pro provide and produce long-term athletic development structure to ensure that children, youth, teenagers are, are doing the right thing at the right time in their development um, to progress at their sport, um, which you know is complementing their biology at that time. Um, we've got several different stages that we um, we look to to specialise in. So active start, um, fundamentals, learning to train, training to train, training to compete, and training to win. The second. Um, part of our development service is school, college and university support program. So we implement our young athlete fundamentals and performance services together to cater for any age groups, sport specific teams or individuals who are looking to benefit from them. So our fourth service is therapy 
and this has several subheadings. First one is injury reduction. So following on from our movement screening, physical competency assessment and fitness testing services, we can provide unique programs that are created to reduce the likelihood of new injuries occurring and old ones re resurfacing. Rehabilitation support, so recovering from an injury can be very hard, can be confusing and can take time. Combined performance and injury reduction services will return people back to their new and often fitter than before selves. Corrective exercise, so key movement series that can help manage all injuries and areas of pain, reducing discomfort. Mobile sports massage therapy. We can bring our massage table to you and set up at various locations throughout the UK. We have in the past been to various locations at Europe and we provide a hands-on tool that can treat the sore areas of the body caused by sports, training or just a busy lifestyle. And the main benefits of this are speeding up re the recovery of the body, controlling pain in certain areas, reducing muscle tension, improving tissue health, increasing range of movement around joints, enhancing quality of posture and, and stimulating relaxation. So our fifth service is health, probably the most important of all of them. And that has several subcategories, which include the following. Wellness support, which is exercise and nutrition guidance for a healthier and happier life. Fit for life, which is wellness support specifically tailored to the individual lifestyle. Weight management which is ensuring individuals can achieve and maintain the optimal weight to a specific age, height, somatotype or sports profile. Body transformation, so weight management with programs to increase cardiovascular fitness, increase muscle tone and or add muscle mass. And the final one is special population exercise. And this is the one we really do pride ourselves on and really do enjoy doing. Um, this involves performance and health services combined to support people with illnesses, disabilities and or specific individual challenges that they may, they may have. So we also have an online store which has several different categories included in it. I'm just going to talk about each one um, and the subcategories each one of those consists of. Sorry about the sirens, by the way, in the background. Um, I'm in the city of London recording this um, late at night, and there's always a siren every two minutes, so apologies if you can hear that. Um, so the first one is Personal Coach. So this is an online coaching service through web chat um, that can be used to help manage, solve, assist any types of health, wellness, sports performance problems or challenges. Um, we offer a, an online consultation initially and then we offer different packages depending on what people's needs are. The second service um, that we have on, on our online store is training programs um, and they involve the followings. We have development programs for preparation, for strength, for conditioning, for power and speed and for recovery. And we have specific health programs so happy and healthy, functional lifestyle, weight loss, tone and trim, build muscle, pain management. Then we also have many sports specific programs um, for many different sports that we've worked with. So just looking through the list in front of me, so aquatics, athletics, cricket, cycling, football, golf, rowing, rugby, swimming, tennis, water sports, um, extreme sports, um, so surfing, wakeboarding, skiing, snowboarding, etc. There's many different er um, programs that we we have that consist of um, downloadable templates for you to, to 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 use to record what you do, and also videos to 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 access to see exactly what you need to do and how you need to do it to make sure your your technique is is perfect and you're getting the the most from it. The third service we have in our online store is nutrition plans um, and they consist of three main areas, um, sports specific recipes and plans, goal specific recipes and plans and diet specific recipes and plans. These are based around 
lots of different ones we've tried in the past with various athletes of various ages, um, various sexes, doing various sports in various environments. So they're very ad adapted um, and, and, and refined and, and we're hoping that, that we, you will find them very effective. We work very closely with various nutritionists and chefs um, to try and get the best combinations um, for all of these we possibly could. So the fourth service we have on our online store is interactive training systems, which consists mainly of our specialized infographics. Um, and these are laminated um, sheets or li little, little cards that you can put in areas that you feel are gonna be most useful for you. So in your kit bag, on the fridge, in your car and by your desk, anywhere it is that is gonna be appropriate for you to refer to them at a specific time after doing specific types of training or exercise. Um, so as previously mentioned, these can consist of things such as daily routine, recovery wheels, travel, preparation recovery, health and wellness, injury management, etc. We're also currently working on integrating certain types of um, software and hardware into our interactive training systems. Um, this is still in development yet, but we are making progress with this and we're really hoping for it to be up and running very soon. So the things that we're looking to try and in integrate are Ithlete, Polar, Garmin and Pushband. Um, so watch this space for those. There are two other um, services or areas in, in our online store that we haven't yet discussed. Um, Toolbox is where you can get hold of uh, extreme sports performance training clothing. So at the moment we have shorts, t-shirts, hoodies and caps. And training accessories are the, are the other categories. So kit bags, lifting straps, water bottles, protein shakers. Um, should anyone want um, any, of our, any of our branded products? Uh, the second and final um, part of the store is where you can sign up to have a membership. So there's three different tiers of membership. So there's the bronze membership, which is just when you get a, a monthly training program. There's a silver membership where you can get your monthly training program and a nutrition plan. And our gold membership, which we obviously we highly recommend because we, we consider it to be our best one, which is a training program and nutrition plan full access to the updated interactive training systems and an online video chat monthly with one of our performance coaches. So our website is, is brand new. Um, there's still a lot that we would like to add to it um, and um, additional content that we'd like to include. Um, there's still lots of development to be done and um, you know we welcome any feedback, um, any suggestions from people. So if you if you wanted to get in touch with, with us, then um, please uh, directly message us on the website, extremesportsperformance.com, under the, uh, the contact page, or email us at info at, at extremesportsperformance.com. We're also on Facebook, um, forward slash extremesportsperformance. Twitter, um, forward slash X sports perf so that's all lowercase ext underscore sports underscore perf p e r f and we're on instagram too um forward slash extreme sports performance all, all lowercase all joined together um if you search for us on youtube and linkedin you'll also find our page there please also check out our weekly blogs which consist of thoughts of the week, um, exercises of the week, recipes of the week, and our training song of the week. Um, we also have a monthly newsletter, which anyone's welcome to subscribe to. Um, and that consists of any updates for the, with our company, with a website. Um, it also has a 
a backlog of all of our blogs from the past month. Um, it has lots of um, new strength and conditioning sports science research that's been recently published. It has our podcast of the month, which will consist of moving forwards lots of fantastic, very interesting, very clever friends and colleagues of mine that I've, uh, I've met along my journey hoping to bring you some very interesting conversation to- topics and give you lots of food for thought. And it will also have a sports calendar, so what our favourite events for the upcoming month um, in all over the world, um, in all different sports. So I'd just like to finish the last part of the podcast by answering the questions I'm going to be asking my upcoming guests in future episodes so they're quite simple questions but hope i'm hoping that the uh, the answers might be uh, more complex and quite interesting so so here we go so who am i so as you know i'm ryan blake um 33 years old unfortunately nearly 34 years old next week i'm the founder and director of extreme sports um i'm also the head of strength and conditioning for saint paul's school in london I'm a lead tutor and assessor for strength and conditioning education. I'm a very keen surfer, snowboarder, wakeboarder, runner, cyclist and golfer. Um, I love travelling, love good food, love great wine. I'm a huge music fan and I'm just crazy about all sports. Where have I come from and what have I done along the way? So, simple question with a long answer. So, I've been an absolute sports nut through childhood I was quite quick I was a fast runner but I wasn't very strong so I always got injured a lot um, county rugby county sprinting county long jump were kind of my claims to fame at school um, I really really enjoyed participating in, in all those um, sports um, and events I kind of fell in love with extreme sports really when like, I kind of became a teenager um, just absolutely loved them. So I was lucky enough to um, wakeboard around the world um, from kind of 15 years um, old onwards um, with lots of much better wakeboarders than me, but it was just such a great experience and, and really a, a, a very enjoyable part of my life and learnt so much. Um, I became a qualified snowboard instructor at 16 years old um, then after school, I went to um, to university. I did a BSc honours in sport and exercise science at the University of Portsmouth, um, two thousand and two to two thousand and five. Um, main sports there were first team rugby. After my um, undergrad, I, I did a postgrad, um, which was a MSc in maintenance and enhancement of elite sports performance in two thousand and five to two thousand and six. Um, whilst I was there, I got my level one RFU coach and referee qualification and my also my community rugby coach qualification and got to lecture to some undergraduates. Um, after uni I, I got stuck into my um, base, basis British Association of Sport and Exercise Science supervised physiology role um, from 2006 to 2008. Got to work with some great teams, uh, GB wheelchair rugby, Rugby, Munster Gaelic Football, British Golf and European Triathlon Union. Um, I then took my um, UKSCA, United Kingdom Strength and Conditioning Association accreditation in 2008. Um, I then got a role as a key accounts technical representative slash biomechanist for ASICS in 2008. Worked for them for a year. Um, learned a hell of a lot about shoes um, and running and the science that goes into that. Um, then from 2008, I got the role as Head of Sports Science and Medicine for Wynn International Academy at Bisham Abbey, um, which was just fantastic. Worked mainly with British Tennis and GB Badminton, but it was also the main Olympic training cycle for London 2012. So we were we were sharing the facilities with many many teams to name a few: GB rowing, um, kayaking, canoeing, um, GB hockey. Um, there were 
multiple independent athletes um, and also Paralympians there. Um, England women's rugby and England men's sevens rugby would also share the gym. So it was just an incredible experience and, and just such a great environment to, to, to be and work at that time. And whilst I was there, I, I um, played rugby for Henley Hawks and the, I think at that time they were in National League 2. Um, I think they they went up to National League 1, but they've come back down to National League 2 now. But really enjoyed playing for Henley, met some great people and, and, and got some great rugby in. Um, I then set up the company in 2008, so um, it was very small then um, and we're near as complex as it is now. But I wanted to get it started and, and to see uh, see how it would work and 10 years on, here we are. Um, then after my experience there, 2012 um, to 2016, I um, got the role as lead strength and conditioning coach for Surrey County Cricket Club at the Oval in London. Um, and that was a great experience. Um, first elite professional sports team I'd really properly worked with. Um, was fully involved in, in the whole setup um, throughout the whole year. Um, pre-season, in-season, off-season, got to travel to some fantastic countries, um, worked with some fantastic players and, and learnt a lot um, at my time there. Um, and in 2015 I um, became a lead tutor and assessor with Strength and Conditioning Education, which I still am now. Um, and then last year, 2017, I became a faculty member of the Youth Strength and Conditioning Association, the YSCA. In late 2016 through to kind of mid-2017, I was approached by British Cycling and was asked to look after a group of Sprint BMXers who are based in London and got to work with them for just under a year. Great group of athletes, um, had a really fun time, um, got to do some really cool, funky types of training, which is quite a luxury these days. Um, in terms of, of strength and conditioning coaching, we we really did um, explore the boundaries of what was possible and um, got some really good results, um, both in the gym and on the track um, with, with those guys. Um, lots of injuries involved in the sport. If you've never seen it, check, definitely check it out. It's absolutely incredibly exciting to watch. Um, so that was uh, a really, really... Um, nice transition between my previous role in cricket to um, my current one of my main current roles now which is head of strength and conditioning at St Paul's School in London over a thousand boys from 14 to 18 and over 30 sports question number three um, what are my top three areas of interest so as a sports scientist strength and conditioning coach by trade I don't know if people are going to be surprised by these answers, but as it stands right now, number one is how to get the most out of people. Fascinates me. I don't think it's a question I'm ever going to be able to properly answer, but it, I learn something new about that every day. Um, the second area is load management. What is the best way of managing, assessing, overseeing the load that somebody experiences in a day the stresses that go through their body lots of different systems and processes out there lots of different software but it's still one of these things which just fascinates me and i'm just constantly reading and trying to develop my knowledge in this area um, all the time and the third area of interest right now for me is velocity based training so it's a uh, a fairly new concept in in in, in strength and conditioning, particularly in, in strength and power training, and I had the pleasure of of, of spending some time with with uh, Dan Baker um, last year, and um, was just chewing his ear off about different questions in regard to this. But again, it's just such a fascinating topic and and something that I'm just constantly kind of playing with on a daily basis. So next question, what are the three most valuable things I've learned? So, keeping it simple. That's the first one. Second one, every day is a learning day. Stay in the present. I used to think I knew much more than I did, which kind of 
goes nicely onto the next point, which is no one cares how much you know until they know how much you care. Next question, who are my top three influencers? So, number one is uh, Nigel Wright. So he was my PE teacher at school. So he was quite a uh, an old and scary man. Um, and for some reason, he always seemed to like me and, 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 and really support me with all of my kind of sporting choices really but he was the um the guy who got me into rugby the guy who got me into athletics and and really started kind of giving me the confidence to to perform at you know at a high level for my age and uh he sadly died actually when I left school um with a pure heart attack but he was he was a really really um great influence to me and and someone I'd, I'd never forget um second influencer is uh none other than Ben Haining um, we met whilst I was working at Bisham Abbey for Wynn Academy. He was working for the British Tennis, um, at the National Tennis Centre at the time, and just took me under his wing. Taught me a lot of things. Um, told me how it is um, and what to expect. And he was just constantly like a mentor and a supporter throughout my career and um we still very good friends today, and 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 keep in touch and share each other's bad jokes, and uh, eat drink too much coffee. But it's great that we're still in touch and we still work together to this day. And you know, I'm very grateful for all the support that he has uh, shown me over the past and still does. Um, so my third influencer is uh, none other than uh, Mr. Brendan Chaplin, who is going to be a a guest on our podcast very soon. So I also met Brendan at, um, well, when I was working at um, when, at, at Bisham, Bisham Abbey with, with Wynn Academy and he was also working um, for British Tennis. So he was doing a similar role to what Ben was doing but up in the north of England and Ben was doing the um, same strength and conditioning coordinator role in the south. So um Still very friendly with Brendan. Been to a lot of uh, workshops. He's run up at Leeds and uh, has some great speakers and, and some guests doing some 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 great practical uh, days up 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 at the Mets and and also just following him along his journey whilst he set up strength and conditioning education from nothing to 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 the you know, growing empire it is today. And it's a real pleasure to be involved with the uh, level four coaching qualification for aspiring coaches that that's thriving, and the Youth Strength and Conditioning Association pathways um, that um, himself and Ben have set up together. And it's just it's just really nice to be involved and friendly, and um, still with with these guys that I've I've known for nearly ten years now, um, and we still really enjoy what we do and. Um, we, you know, we're still really keen to try and kind of keep pushing things forward in the industry. Next question, what are my three top resources for information? So I'll keep this one really simple. Um, strengthconditioningresearch.com, fantastic resource. Chris Beardsley's done a great job pulling that together, condensing quite complex time-consuming research papers into very simple, short, concise uh, one-pages infographics, um, which, which is fantastic. Um, just any podcast that is related to sports science or to strength and conditioning, I just can't get enough of. It's really great because I, I, I could travel and commute a lot all the time and it's sometimes not possible to, to, you know, to read when you're driving or or to read when you're using public transport and uh, just having a podcast in and, and just trying to just absorb different nuggets of wisdom from people is fantastic. Um, my third main resource I use for information is YouTube. There's a lot of crap out there, but there's also some slight kind of like golden chunks of, of, of wisdom that, you know, really good quality um, coaches and, and, and practitioners put, put up. You've got to filter through uh, a lot of the cowboys, but they're, they're, when you do find uh, what you're looking for, it's, um, it's really, really quite, quite great to um, 
I suppose, have your instincts uh, confirmed with what you were initially thinking. And uh, I often find that that happens when I'm searching through different videos for different things on YouTube. Um, last couple of questions. So what are my top three performance exercises and drills? So the first one would be the trap bar deadlift. Now, some people may disagree with this, but it's one that I just think is fantastic. It, it can get someone seriously strong, seriously quickly, and not cause too many problems. Um, prefer obviously using this to a barbell, just because you put it in a much more comfortable position. Um, it causes less soreness, and I just feel people can do this uh, better than a conventional deadlift, and, and, and have less issues with it. Um, second one is a snatch. So I have not purposely said what type, um, power or um, squat, but any type of snatch I think is just brilliant because it just ticks so many boxes and it's very often turned into an overhead squat. Um, that's just such a go-to exercise, hits so many different areas of the body, um, just has so many positives. I mean, yes, it takes a while to learn how to do it properly and and uh, you know people sometimes haven't got that luxury of that time but it's definitely worth the investment on it i think it's just a, such a good go-to exercise to to really to get as powerful as possible and um it's such a good injury prevention exercise as well for on the major joints of the body um third go-to performance exercise or drill for me is a wall drill series um, such a brilliant way of getting athletes used to what it feels like to accelerate properly. Um, I've worked with many different types of athletes, as, I, as I've said, in, in many different sports, and not a lot of them spend a, much time at top speed. They really spend most of it trying to get up to top speed and slowing down again. So acceleration is such an important part of their training, and just having those variability options um, with these drills is fantastic and you can spend as long on them or as little on them as, as you want um, some people pick them up quicker than others but they're so variable and, and so effective okay so coming to the end of the question list so the last one is what are my three pieces of advice in life exercise and all sport so I'm not that old, but I'm also not that young. So I've still got a lot to learn and learning new things every day. So my top three right now would be experience creates expertise. You, you can never learn enough. And the more you learn, the more you become better at what you do. Second one is how you do anything is how you do everything. I used to rush around like an absolute nutcase trying to conquer the world in a day and I quickly learned that's just not possible and you weigh yourself out. So I don't do that anymore. Um, I try and practice what I preach and and, and be sensible and, and approach things in a, in a much more kind of calmer, um, humble way and it's definitely a, a, a much better better way to to go about my business i i, I consider um last piece of advice is don't forget to look after yourself when you're looking after others now this is such an important point for me um having experienced um depression and anxiety um in the past um throughout my 20s and um, early 30s it's, it's very difficult to thing to manage um, especially if you haven't been through it before um, or know anyone who has um, it can be quite a lonely place and a lot of this stem from just working too hard and, and, and just not resting so um, the worst case for me was when I started um, getting kind of chronic fatigue um, from just ridiculous hours um, trying to do a good job and then not being able to sleep so getting insomnia um, and then from that just getting incredibly anxious because I was just so exhausted all the time and then 
very down. Um, so it was just kind of spiraled out of control, and it's something I'm very open to talk about because I, I don't think it's something that people should hide from, and especially if they're suffering from similar things, it's 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 something that needs to be spoke about, not kept quiet. So keep looking after yourself. Um, you know, there's more to life than work, and you, you can't, as I said before, you can't achieve everything in a day. So just do what just do what you can and do what's reasonable and, and, and do what's possible. Don't try and achieve the impossible and give yourself a break, give yourself a rest and, and recharge your batteries and do things that make you happy and, and take your mind off the two serious the two serious aspects or, or areas of life and, 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 and take the odd chill. So that guys that wraps up um the introductory uh introductory episode of the Extreme Sports Performance Podcast um, well done for getting this far and not falling asleep. Um, sorry to have, have, have constantly spoke at you for this episode, but just wanted to give you a more, more better idea of, you know, as I said at the start, you know, who am I and, and what the company is about. And hopefully I've done that. So please keep tuning in. Please keep ch- checking out the site. Um, sign up to our, our newsletter. Um, check out our social media pages and We'll be back with a, another episode um, very soon uh, with one of our very many special guests, uh, which we're very excited to to bring you. So take care and uh, see you soon.